difference a week makes in this team. Last week, this time, we didn't know what to expect out of this Mississippi State football team. Uh, about three hours later, we found out a lot. I guess so. Uh, it's been rehashed and hashed and rehashed again. But your thoughts now, a week later. Slow this Mississippi State offense down. At the same time, uh, Arkansas was able to and see that Mississippi State offense last week. So they at least do have some, uh, you know, some groundwork to, uh, to figure out a game plan defensively against this Mississippi State offense. What do you think that they will do defensively? Well, I do think they're going to run a lot of zone. I think they're going to do the, everything they can, probably to run two deep safeties to kind of keep the state from getting over the top. But when you, when you back those safeties off, it does open up some running lanes and also, too, it's called a couple chance to be a receiver. Uh, I think the glass there, because I'm not going to lie about the team in the NCC. You can imagine the system of how to do it. You can take one of the defense if you don't force the issue. And I think Stavis come out here and have a good defensive game early on. I look for Arkansas to come out and have an established run. Run some zone read stuff with the Lupe Franks. Probably some control passing. Get the ball out the burn and kind of get those guys going. I think it's probably going to be a tussle for a quarter and a half. I think State will probably go in with the lead at halftime and make some adjustments. Come out in the second half and put the State away. But uh, one of fans shouldn't be surprised if this thing is holding a tussle for a while. But as we say that, they could come out and go 14-0 to go for a kill shot early. We just don't know. And I would assume that uh, you know, based on what we saw last week, LSU did have some advantages and possibilities when they ran the football between the tackles. Now, whether they're going to say about do that when the defense knows they're going to do that, that's a whole lot better. But I would assume that Arkansas is going to try to bring that clock by running the football. I suspect so too. A lot of those LSU runs came in the third. 
came out and kind of said, you know, we're going to establish the front, we're going to be the tougher team. <laughs> and so a lot of that, those 80 yards, a lot of it came with that one drive, but the Bulldogs stood tall and had the big goal line at the end of the field goal there. And it was a big win for the defense. The state's got to get some wins on defense and get the ball back in the offense's hands. I think early today, I do think we're keeping the winners together. The state fans should be somewhat familiar with him. He's probably the best player to everybody really talks about because he's been on some really bad teams. But he is a guy that's capable of carrying the ball 25, 30 times a game and putting up some big yards today. I think what Zach Arnett's challenge is is you have to put the game in Felipe Franks' hand. I think you've got to make him be a quarterback. And he has kind of proven to kind of struggle when he doesn't have the long right option available to him. Well, not only really that, but uh, Felipe Franks probably had better talent when he was at Florida. And uh, I didn't think he was a difference maker when he was at Florida. They won, certainly, uh, but they won for a lot of different reasons, including a really standout defense. Whether Arkansas can do the same thing, it's still the main one. I still think Felipe Franks is trying to come back off that injury he had a year ago. Let's stick with uh, Jeans Page 247 Sports. We'll have more from Thank you.